Hi guys, Advisor here, and today guys I'm reviewing another LEGO set for you guys. You might notice an, a jumping uh, quality guys, that's because I am finally, I finally got an HD camera to record on, but nonetheless let's get started with this LEGO review now shall we? So sorry if it sounds echoing here, um, that's just where I'm at, but yeah. And first of all we have R2D2, right here, it's right here, and I just go around, and that's R2D2, then it comes with Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker, let me try to pronounce that. And, um, sit here. Um, okay, yeah, so that's right there, everything else. And then the back, and that's the back printing. And then he has no double sided face, I don't think. So, right here, no double sided face. And, yeah, um, at least, like, at least now, guys, it looks a bit better since I, since I have a camera instead of a camera instead of, um, uh, iPad to record on, but yeah, guys. So, another character in the set is four character total of Neos, guys. Let's see another of uh, these characters. So let me try to get this character. I'm not sure what the character's name is. I think it's like R3Q2. Actually, I don't know. It's, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm failing epically. I'm not sure what this character's name is, but um, I'm not sure what it is, but um, yeah. So, here, guys. Um, that's this. Uh, it's an astromic. It's a little bit, it's nice on the RTD2 in my opinion, a little bit more newer. See, the head is newer. Um, yeah. At least the head shape is newer. And, um, let's put this down. And uh, let me get another guy out for you guys to see. Um, okay. Almost got it out. Almost. Okay. So I think this guy's named Jack Perkins. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced or if that's even the name. I'm pretty sure it's Jack Perkins or Jeff Perkins. It's Jack Perkins, but I'm not sure. Oh well. So here guys. Um yeah guys. So it's right here. And right here. So this is the same, almost the same exact actually the same exact torso. And I'll compare this guy, to be honest. Same exact torso, same exact legs. Not the same exact helmet her, but this guy has helmet is um here. Yeah, that's his helmet. And this helmet is a little bit more different, a little bit more detailed. You can see that focus. So this is the first time I have my camera, gu new camera guys. So sorry if I'm uh, not know how to record very well. The scene. Well, I'm not going to sh uh, show. Actually, I can show you. This is no double-sided minifigure face, as you can see right here. So no double-sided minifigure face right here. So yeah, guys. And um, now for the main part of the set, the X-wing. And yeah, this is what. Yeah, guys. Um, so time to make you the X-wing. And um, it's right here. Um, yeah. So there's the um wings. Oops, let me fold that. Uh, leg. And um, let me just turn this upside down. So right here, this is how you can do it. Sorry if this is unprofessional, guys. I don't. I just realized now. They didn't say. I don't think I said this. Name saw the name of the set at the start of the video, guys. Apologize in advance. I put all the information of this Lego set. And the description and set for the cost of the set because different cost costs vary depending on where you live and um yeah so here guys the back i can get, get my hand farther and back enough can we do that ow okay and um now a, a play feature part of the set sorry about this guys the play feature is your horn so this so you want to turn this knob right here. You see this knob right here, you see guys? Um, you want to turn it to uh, left or right, it doesn't matter which way. And I can't hold the camera into this exact same time, so I'll put the camera down. At, um, yeah guys, I'll put the camera down. And you guys, you turn it right here, and it pops out the wings. And based on this, you might say, well why, is it, why are the wings not fall down? Because that's because there's rubber bands right here guys. Make sure the wings don't fall down. Uh, I don't usually use rubber bands usually that much with building with Legos myself with mocks. As you see, guys, that's what this looks like. You know, guys, so uh, it looks very cool in my opinion. Looks very cool actually. And I see flip fire, uh, not flip fire missiles, just um, torpedoes. I think it's what these are supposed to be torpedoes. And if you want to put that these back, you can just twist it left or right. Um, like so, guys. So I mean, I do recommend the set. I mean, I, I mean, I, it looks very cool. But I think it might be a tie. I'm not sure what year this is. Again, I guess I'll put the name of this set, the set number, the amount of pieces, and the age part, age range, 
and um, in the description. And if you don't know what I mean by the age range, the age range is usually how difficult the set is to put together. Yes, and I would say that again. The age range is usually how difficult the set is to put together, guys. If you can see it next time, please comment, rate, subscribe if you have not, uh, and like um, if you want to, guys. I guess see you next time. And uh, well, bye.